Lesson 1.9, Problem Solving Understand Zero. In this lesson, we use counters as models to solve problems, and we learn that zero is none. Here we have a plate with cookies. There are one, two cookies. There are two. There are no cookies on this plate. This plate has zero cookies. Zero means none. Zero is less than one. Here our five frame has no counters. For one, we have one counter. For two, we have two counters. For three, we have three counters. And four, there's four counters. And for five, we have five counters and the five frame is full. But up here, our five frame is empty when we have zero. There's no counters. There's none. We can trace the number zero with our finger. For right-handed students who write like this, we start up here at the top and we come around this way, all the way around and back up again. Let's try it again. We start at the top, we come all the way around and back up again. For our left-handed students, students who write with this hand, the left hand, we start at the top at the dot and we go around this way and go all the way around and back up again. Let's try it again. We start at the top, we go all the way around and back up again. Let's try writing zero with our right hand for the right-handed students. We start at this dot up here and we go away from the hand and then back towards the hand up and around. Let's try it again. We go away from the hand down to the bottom line back up to where we started. We can write the word zero. We start here on the middle dotted line and we pull it towards us then we go down and then towards us again for the Z. So we start here, we pull it towards us, we slant down to the bottom line and pull it towards us again. For the E, we start here, we come towards our hand and then down and around. For the R, we start here at the dotted line, we come down and bounce back up and curl around. And for the O, it's just like the zero. We start here though, on the middle line, and we come down and around and back up to where we started. Let's try it again. We make our Z, pull it towards our hand, slant down, pull it towards our hand. Our E starts here, we come across and up and around. The R comes down and we bounce like that. And then the O, we start here and we come around and back up again. We wrote the number zero and the word zero. For left-handed students that write with the same hand as me, we start at the top, we go down away from our hand and then back up again. So let's try it. We start at the dot, we go around away from our hand and then back towards our hand and back up to the top. Let's try it again. We go around and back up again. And the top of the zero is on this line and the bottom of the zero is down here on that line. We can write the word zero. Our Z, we can start here, just like the right-handed students. We go across, slant down, and then go across. We make our E, we go across and up and around. We make our R, we start here at the dotted line, we come down to the bottom line and bounce around. And we make our little O in the same way we made our zero except we make it here. We go away from our hand and down and around. Let's try it again. We start here, we make our Z by going across, slant down and go across. We make our E by starting here and going up and around. We make our R by starting here and we come down and bounce around 
and our O starts here. We go away from our hand, then towards our hand, back up to the dotted line. We wrote the number zero and the word zero. Here we need to count the bees and write the number. How many bees are on this flower? Let's count them. One, two, three bees. And we can write the number three. How many bees are on this flower? I don't see any bees. There are none. That means there are zero bees. We can make a zero. When there are none, there are zero. Here's a plate with cookies on it. There are one, two, three, four cookies. If we ate one cookie, then it would go away. We would have one, two, three cookies. And if we ate another cookie, it would go away. And now we have one, two cookies. And if we ate one more cookie, now there's only one cookie on the plate. And if we ate that last cookie, there would be none left. There would be zero cookies on the plate. We had four, three, two, one, zero cookies. When there are none, there are zero. In our next lesson, 1.10, we're going to learn more about zero. We're going to identify and write zero. I hope you'll join me. I hope you're doing well and have a great day. Bye.